So I have no way of confirming this. This is kind of just my own speculation, but I don't believe that Joe Biden wants to be running for president. And I certainly don't believe that he wants to be president. I think the only reason why he's running is because the establishment wants him to run and because he thinks or at least thought that this would be an easy victory. But it's not. And he just seems over it. I'm basing this off of his demeanor uh, as well as, you know, speculation before that he would only be running as a one term president, basically to just maybe defeat Donald Trump or at a minimum, you know, um, Stop Bernie Sanders during the primary, because if you're a former VP, then you have a lot of name recognition and you can raise a lot of money. Not really panning out too well. Either way, I don't think he wants to be president. And there is even more speculation that maybe he doesn't want to be president. And in the event he's elected, he would only be a one term president. This is based off of what people around him are saying. And it seems like they're leaking details of this story because they think this will help Joe Biden. I don't actually think that's going to be the case. Nonetheless, these are the details. This is from Ryan Lizza of Politico, who reports, Former Vice President Joe Biden's top advisors and prominent Democrats outside the Biden campaign have recently revived a long-running debate whether Biden should publicly pledge to serve only one term, with Biden himself signaling to aides that he would serve only a single term. While the option of making a public pledge remains available, Biden has for now settled on an alternative strategy quietly indicating that he will almost certainly not run for a second term while declining to make a promise that he and his advisors fear could turn him into a lame duck and sap him of his political capital. According to four people who regularly talk to Biden, all of whom asked for anonymity to discuss internal campaign matters, it is virtually inconceivable that he will run for re-election in 2024 when he would be the first octogenarian president. If Biden is elected, a prominent advisor to the campaign said, He's going to be 82 years old in four years, and he won't be running for re-election. The advisor argued that public acknowledgement of that reality could help Biden mollify younger voters, especially on the left, who are unexcited by his candidacy and fear that his nomination would serve as an eight-year roadblock to the next generation of Democrats. Now, this isn't confirmed as of yet, and whether or not Biden makes this public or makes it official will be based off of a political calculation. So if he thinks this will help him get elected in 2020, he's going to say, I won't seek re-election in 2024. Now, what's fascinating to me is that people actually think this will help him. And there's this idea that maybe Biden thinks that this could help him. Because as they stated, well, you know, young voters who are turned off by Biden because he could serve for eight years, maybe they'll be a little bit more receptive to him if they know that he'll only serve one term. But I don't think this is going to have the effect that you think it will have. Because if anything, this will make us dislike you even more. Because what is the point of running if you're only going to run for one term? That tells me that you don't have a clear agenda that you're willing to fight for. Because if you have an agenda that you think can be executed in four years, then you're not real about, real about politics, right? You're not real about fundamentally changing the country. Even with Bernie Sanders, if he serves for eight years, I don't believe he will be able to get his entire agenda implemented. If anything, we'll get a few you know, policies codified into law, and then hopefully he catalyzes this political revolution in the way that FDR and Reagan did, albeit on the left, and, you know, actually push the envelope and make it so that way he's so popular that you can't challenge democratic socialism or in actuality social democracy uh but joe biden i mean you're not serious about anything you're just running because you think you can easily win if you're only seeking one term and on top of that this puts democrats at a disadvantage in 2024 because i don't have to tell you guys i've said this before incumbency is something that you definitely want to have it gives you an advantage going into an election because voters, they are averse to change. They're scared to change things and the way that things are going, even if they're dissatisfied with it. So let's say, hypothetically speaking, voters, you know, shirk that trend of sticking with the incumbent and they vote for Biden and they defeat Donald Trump. Well, if Joe Biden chooses to not run for a second term, then Democrats lose that incumbency advantage. Now, look, I would want to primary Joe Biden right? If he were president, of course I would. I would want a primary challenger and I would want him to only run for one term, term because I think he's a ghoul. With that being said, though, Democrats who are self-interested theoretically should, you know, in their own self-interest, 
not want him to do that. And furthermore, even though I would want him out as soon as possible, so we have a chance at electing someone who's more progressive, like, this doesn't make me like him more. This just makes me see that he is the opportunist that I thought he was. And that he really doesn't want to be there, right? You're an opportunist because you at least want to say you were president, like you want that to be part of your legacy. Being VP isn't enough and you ran for president multiple times before. You want that, right? You want that on your resume. But with that being said, it's clear you don't you don't want to do this. Joe Biden doesn't actually want to be president. I think that if we really could press him to say whether or not he wants to do this, I think the answer would be no. He wants the title and the glory that comes along with it, but he doesn't actually want the job. And I don't really blame him, but then uh, don't run. If you're only running to be a one-term president, you have no real core agenda. You don't care about helping people. You just want to win because you think you're either owed that position or you can easily walk to victory. But I don't think that this is going to help him in the way that they believe it will, as I stated. Younger voters aren't going to think, oh, well, he's only running for one term and he'll be out faster, so suddenly I'm more excited for him. No, in the event Joe Biden is the nominee, it will be evident that that will demoralize the base, turnout will be suppressed, and young people will just stay home. They're not going to be excited about Joe Biden. They are vocalizing that loudly and clearly, and you're not listening to them, right? If you want to win, and if you truly want to win, and you don't just care about defeating a progressive like Bernie Sanders, then acknowledge that we need a candidate who will excite the base. And if you honestly think that Joe Biden is that person, you are delusional, and you are hurting all of us. You're empowering Donald Trump. So either way, this isn't confirmed, but if it's true... um. I don't think this will make him any more popular. Um, I think it, it probably is true. It's just a matter of whether or not he fesses up to it, but um, not going to help you. If anything, I think this hurts him even more because it shows that he doesn't really want to be there.